All right, so in my survey here, I have a couple of different feature codes that have attributes stored on them. Um, I have my building codes, which are code 298. Um, they store, if we look in the tooltip there, they store an attribute pair of size and type. That one's retail. This one type is commercial. And then I have on my trees, I also store the same two attributes, size and type. Um, uh, for for the trees. So what I want to do is look at the attributes and have the um, planimetrics displayed differently based on the attributes. So to do that, we're going to go into the survey settings, open road standards into the survey settings, and we're going to add attribute overrides here. So we're reading that up here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color my commercial uh, building a different color. And what I'm actually going to be using is a an element template here. So we'll go look at uh, element templates real quick and the one I'm going to be using is in this file and I called it override and you know red is I have different colors here red blue and yellow so we're going to use that in our attribute overrides on the buildings so the um, the type is a linear for my buildings the feature definition uh, contains 298 for buildings and the attribute I want to look at is the type and if the type contains the word commercial, so we'll say contains commercial, then I want to override the, with an element template. And the override string value is just going to be the path to that element template. So it's override slash red. Use that element template for the symbology there. So we're going to tab out of that and we're going to add a new one also for the trees they are point features and the feature name contains the code 405 and what I want is when the um, the attribute by the name of size so when I've recorded a size I'm going to leave this as not empty when there is a value in the size then I want it to uh, use the value stored in that size attribute as the value on the um, on the size. And so we're going to override the horizontal and the vertical both. So we're going to do size both on that. Okay, and we don't need to put anything else because it's going to use the value already stored in there. So we're going to tab out of there and we're going to accept these two attribute overrides. So we have those set up. All we have to do is go to the field book then and, well, it's under analyze. We're going to redraw. All right, so now that it's done redrawing, we can see that it did redraw the line using the red element template and it changed the size of my tree to 24. And let's just verify that by doing a measure distance up here and we'll just... Uh, we'll just go pretty close to the outside of that and we see that it's about 24 it's measuring the extents of the cell there and this tree up here is a little bit smaller so let's just hover over that and see what its attribute size was we can see that the size on that was a 12 and this one was a 24 and then um, for all the rest of our buildings they stayed the same but the one where we had the attribute override for the building it turned to red